Again. One more time. Is that true for you? Say, I am the father of one. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? I and my father are one. What does that mean to you? No, you know that sometimes some people think only legally. They say this is a legal, this is a legal understanding, uh, the legality of the redemption. I understand the legality of the redemption and I understand the vitality of the redemption. Well, let me show you something. Go to St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, verse 1. St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 1. Let's see what Jesus did here. St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 1. Read it for me. Want to go? Stop. He gave them what? Power and authority. Over all devils and to cure diseases. What in the world? What in the world is this? Both. He gave them power and authority. Power and authority. Both. Did he give you less? What could he have given you? Now, let's look at this. When Paul laid his hands on the handkerchiefs and aprons, the Bible says when those curses were taken to the sick, the demons went out of them. And the sicknesses departed from them. That was not authority. That was the dynamic power. Vital power. Spiritual energy. Do you understand? Because he laid hands, he didn't talk to the handkerchiefs. And the handkerchiefs were not animate. The handkerchiefs had no sense. The handkerchiefs didn't know something happened. But the power of God was infused into them. And the handkerchiefs didn't know. But the demons knew. <laughs> the power of God, when you receive the Holy Spirit, that's what happened to you. The power, the ability of the Holy Ghost came into you. You may not know it like the handkerchief. feel it the handkerchief didn't feel anything don't think that when the power of God comes into your life you must shake you may not shake when the Holy Spirit came into you he came with all the power any shaking you will do now will be according to the power that is already inside you glory to God What does the Bible say we should do? Stay up the gift of God that is in us. Stay up. Hallelujah. He didn't say ask for more. He didn't say ask for more. Don't ask for more. By asking for more, you are declaring that you don't have enough. And since God is not going to answer that prayer, you're going to get weaker and weaker. Oh God, give me more power. Please, give me more power. Please, I need more power. I need more power. But he already gave you all the power you need. I need more power, please. Say, I have all the power I need.